on my dudes my name is six ahead and welcome back to another video but today I am doing a different type of video I am going to show you guys how to get the necrochasm that is right the very 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 rare exotic auto rifle I have the second step to it which is the Elon alley and I'm gonna show you how you can get the necrochasm exactly so the first thing you need to get what's called the husk of the pit the picture will be on the screen right now so to get that you need to kill what's called a blade of crota so the best place to get it in my opinion is to just set your destination on earth and you have to have the dark below for this but you need to set it to the fist of crota level 10 or hard mode it does not matter what well, hard does not drop more than easy it's the same um like uh randomized randomization no matter which um when you choose so I choose level 10 because it's easier to do so just launch to there now about the blades of crota um what happens is is that there are there's they're not just blades of crota in this mission there's blades of crota all over earth if you just patrol so if you know where those are and you don't even have to do this step you can just go to those places and just completely farm all of them now I'm not sure if you can only get the husk of the pit once per person but if I get it right now during the video that would be amazing anything so let me just show you so this is the second step like I said and I will explain what exactly happens so I'm going to use my hand cannon for this, and yes, it's blue, but it is actually very, very good. I promise. It's pretty good. So right when you get onto Earth, you're going to want to activate your Sparrow. Because that's pretty important. Trust me, it is. So just get on your Sparrow, and if you kill these, all these uh, AI, you don't have to kill them. Uh, but it does not increase your chance, believe me. So you can kill them, you don't have to. But just go right into here. And now you're away from all them, and now you can just probably hop off your speeder, but I'm just going to stay on right now. Sparrow speeder is the same thing, guys. Technically, I mean, there's no difference. Alright, now once you're here, you're going to want to kill these guys, these acolytes. And then you're going to want to see that get big. And then now the Blade of Crota is in. So all you got to do is just kill him. And then uh, if he drops... If he drops it and you're not right there, it's going to be like this white thing. Now, obviously, it did not just drop. But when it drops, you're going to see like a white. It could, it's like an engram, but it's not a normal color. It's white. So it'll drop right here, and you'll pick it up. And um, right up where it would say like encrypted engram, if you got an engram, it would say husk of the pit. Now, once you get the husk of the pit, you're going to see that it has one upgrade, that it's a common weapon with 80 attack. Now, okay, you might think, wow, this is garbage. What in the world did you turn me on to, Sticks? I, I, what is wrong with you? So what you want to do is, um, so you notice how this has a green bar, or, or this, uh, the Edelon Alley has a green bar. Well, this is from actual upgrades, but on the Husky the Pit, the green bar is Hive Kills. Now, you're going to need to kill Hive, so I suggest going to the moon, patrolling the moon, and going to the Hellmouth, which I will show you exactly how to get there. Uh, the other way that I thought you were able to do it is go to Crota's End Raid, because there's so many Thrall coming at you, you should be able to just kill them, and I thought that, oh, you know what, that should work. So, my friend and I did it about four times with our Husky the Pits, and our green bar stayed at the exact same place so do not do the crota's end braid because that does not work with these just go to the hellmouth or the dreadnought the dreadnought works too and for some reason my video keeps cutting out i'm sorry if i like stay silent it's just because it just keeps cutting out i don't know why but it does so all right so now we're on here just summon your vehicle and just speed on up to here and then you can just keep going. So ignore all the uh, all the hive and fallen, whatever. I think they're both, but just ignore them and just keep following my path. So some of you may know where this is, um, but I won't take very long to show you guys where to go. You can do tricks off of it if you have that speeder. I don't. I only can break. <laughs> Bruh. So uh, if you hit the anchor of light, you know you're going the right way, and then you'll come to this uh, little uh, anchor of light place right here speed on past this and then you'll see this little caveature area caveature really caveature what is that you'll see this little eight uh cut out area Ooh, and then i don't know what that ooh was for but then here which would be in three two one uh just go through this cave you can go around it but i'm just gonna i'll go i'll go around it just to prove so if you don't go through there you can just go around here, same thing. Um, and now, 
You already see Hive over there. That is correct. So you need to kill 500 fi Hive. So if you do this a few times, you should be okay. Uh, so, guys, just to show you. Come on, man. So once you kill all these guys, you and just go all the way down. Okay, hello, Knight. Just go all the way down, and then you will get so many. I guarantee if you do this four times, you should be able to... Now, once you're done getting all of these guys, I'm just going to sit down over here because I don't want them to kill me. So once you're done killing all it'll say upgrade unlocked, and now pretend none of these other upgrades are here. This first upgrade will be called cannibalism, and once you swap it... Okay, so here's a little thing. If you watch tutorials, they're going to say that you're going to need what's called an embalming something or other, an, an embalming orb from uh, Eris Morn, but that was year one. You don't need that anymore. Because I didn't get one, and I don't. Ha I didn't get it ranked three, so I know that for a fact. So, uh, you get the embalming orb, and, or you used to, but now all you have to do is you just click swap, or you just click activate, and you'll get kicked out, and immediately you will see the Edelon Alley appear right here, and it'll be equipped to the same uh, auto rifle sp slot that you had before. And as you can see, I no longer have the Husk of the Pit, I only have the Edelon Alley. Now, this upgrades with normal modes of light. And as you can see, it uh, it upgrades your damage, upgrade damage, upgrade damage. And then the hardest part of this, other than the Ascendant Energy, is this. You need a Crux of Crota. Now, to get the Crux of Crota, I do believe you need to beat Crota. Well, obviously, you need to beat Crota. But as far as all the tutorials go, even in Year 2, you have to uh, defeat Crota on Hard Mode. And now, you might want to get a Fire Team for that. If you're on Xbox One, I'll help you out because I need one too. But that's what that's the hardest part of getting this weapon because before you needed the embalming uh, orb which you needed to be rank 3 which was also hard but now all you need is a crux which is great so that's it so i think i think yeah that should be it and then once you get your um your uh, the necrochasm there you go now you have a really like really awesome rate of fire so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and as i was hit that subscribe button like this video if you liked it dislike if it didn't if it didn't work for you if it didn't work comment me your problem and uh just i'll see you know oh and that really bad english but this is why um by the way if you don't kill the blade of crota once you need to kill him multiple times all right just just like a little, little fyi so hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys next time goodbye